Hi, everybody. This is Lainey. Welcome back to History Highlights with Lainey. In this video, I will be giving you a little bit of the history of Father's Day. Father's Day was not immediately accepted when it was proposed, and it did not become a national holiday in the United States until 1972 during Richard Nixon's administration. It was a hotly contested debate. With American history, you might think that a holiday recognizing men would be a perfectly acceptable holiday. After all, men dominated American society in the early 20th century. In addition, a Father's Day or day that recognizes the role of fathers in the family is an ancient tradition. In history books, there is mention, mention of a Southern European tradition dating back to 1508. Certainly in modern days, we do not give Father's Day a second thought. It's been almost 50 years since President Richard Nixon's administration declared the third Sunday in June a day to recognize and honor the role of fathers in society. However, Father's Day was not immediately accepted when it was proposed. Mother's Day came first. It was officially recognized in 1914. So men in the early 1900s associated such a tribute to women and found the idea of Father's Day to be a bit feminine to their liking. Men viewed Father's Day similar to that of Mother's Day, which was popular with flowers and gift giving. Men also thought that the flowers and gift giving was a gimmick used by commercials to sell products, products that men themselves often paid for. The first known Father's Day service occurred in Fairmount, West Virginia, on July 5th, 1908, after 100 of men died in the worst mining accident in U.S. history. Grace Golden Clayton, the daughter of a dedicated mem uh, minister, proposed a service to honor all fathers, especially those who died. However, the observance did not become an annual event and it was not promoted. Very few people outside the local area knew about it. Meanwhile, across the entire country, another woman was inspired to honor fathers. In 1909, Sonora Smart Dog of Skokan, Washington, was inspired by Anna Jarvis and the idea of Mother's Day. Her father, William Jackson Smart, a farmer, and civil rights veteran was also a single parent who raised Sonora and her five brothers by himself after the death of his wife, Ellen. Ellen died giving birth to their youngest child in 1898. While attending a Mother's Day church service in 1909, Sonora, then 27 years old, came up with the idea. Within months, Sonora had convinced the Skokan Ministry Association and the YMCA to set aside a Sunday in June to celebrate fathers. She proposed June 5th, her father's birthday, but the ministers chose the third Sunday in June so that they could have more time after Mother's Day, which is the second Sunday in May, to prepare their sermons. Thus, on June 19, 1910, the first Father's Day event commenced. Sonora delivered presents to handicapped fathers. Boys from the YMCA decorated their lapels with fresh cut roses. Red for the living fathers, white for the deceased. And the city's ministers devoted their homilies to fatherhood. The widely published event in Skokan struck a chord that reached all the way to Washington, D.C., and Sonora's celebration put the idea on the path to becoming a national holiday. However, the holiday did not catch on 
right away, perhaps due to, due to the perceived parallel with Mother's Day. In 1916, President Woodrow Wilson and his family personally observed the holiday. Eight years later, President Calvin Coolidge signed a revolution, resolution in favor of Father's Day to establish more intimate relations between fathers and their children and to impress upon fathers the full measure of their obligations. In 1966, President Lyndon Baines Johnson signed an executive order that the holiday be celebrated on the third Sunday in June. Under President Richard Nixon in 1972, Congress passed an act officially making Father's Day a national holiday. Six years later, Sonora died at the age of 96. So there you have a little bit of history on Father's Day. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace, peace. Deuces. See you soon.